हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हिबिस्कस फ्लार फ्लार इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट प्रोड्यूस्ड फॉर सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन वी स्टडी हिबिस्कस और चाइना रोज फ्लार एज अ टिपिकल एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज इट हैज ऑल फोर वर्ल्ड और पार्ट इन इट नेमली कैलिक्स करोला एंड्रोशियम एंड गाइनेशियम देर फॉर इट इज अ कंप्लीट एंड बायसेक्शुअल फ्लार ऑल दीज पार्ट आर अरेन्ज इन अ साइक्लिक मैनर हेन्स इट इज नोन एज वर्ल्ड Now let's have a look at the requirements of this experiment. Students, you need flowers of hibiscus, blade, pointed needles, forceps, slides, white paper, simple or dissecting microscope, glycerin or water. Procedure. Students, now let's study parts of hibiscus flower starting from the outermost wall. You need an open flower of hibiscus for this experiment. on the outermost side there are tiny free leaf like structures this is epicalyx it has 5 to 8 bracteoles remove each bracteole inner to epicalyx the whole present is calyx this is also green in color it has five fused or united sepals calyx protects the inner floral parts in their bud condition remove calyx from their base and place on the slide the corolla is present inside the calyx it has five large free colorful petals petals protect androecium and gynaecium of the flower also they attract insects for pollination students please note that calyx and corolla are non essential or accessory whorls as they actually do not participate in reproduction remove all the petals one by one students after removing all the petals you can see a tube like structure this is the androecium the male reproductive part of the flower it has many stamens that are fused they form a single staminal tube there are free anthers at the top of staminal tube the anthers are kidney shaped even sometimes yellow colored dust can be seen on the anthers these are nothing but pollen grains now students to observe the gynaecium the staminal tube must be carefully removed the removal of staminal tube gynaecium or female reproductive organ will be seen clearly in hibiscus flower gynaecium is made up of five carpels or pistils presence of five free stigmas corresponding to the number of carpels the style and ovary appear to be one as they are fused the ovary is at the base and has many ovules inside the style passes through the staminal tube androecium gynaecium produce haploid male and female gametes respectively hence they are called as essential whorls of the flower these gametes unite to form a diploid zygote this is called as fertilization it leads to the formation of fruit and seed 